In the wake of the Global Hand Washing Day, a group has underscored the importance of the commemoration, especially in saving lives and disease prevention. Uh, this was the major thrust of the sensitization of workers at the hotel here in Lagos. Plus, TV News correspondent Emmanuel Lubobokun was at the sensitization program and now reports. Hand Washing Day is an international campaign aimed at promoting and hygiene worldwide. It emphasizes the importance of washing ends with soap and at critical points during the day. In 2008, GHD was celebrated for the first time with the aim of raising awareness on the importance of hand washing to prevent diseases and infections. To commemorate the day, this organization is imparting the practice of cleanliness on its workers with the belief that hand washing is a first step in reducing the spread of diseases. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, Martins Isaac, the organization's managing partner, emphasizes the importance of hand washing and why they have impact on this campaign. Here for us is that we're just trying to sensitize people and remind people on the importance of hand wash, you know. And you can see back in 2019, 2020, when we had the COVID-19, uh, we all knew present at the meeting uh, convened by King Ateke, Michael Tom, so and uh, Asahi Dokubo, Chief Ajube Bibopiri, also to keep our hands clean, and that was the quickest and easiest way we were able to fight, you know, the COVID-19 and other germs that we deal with from time to time. Basically, our hands carry germs, you know, so, and maybe it's just about someone serving your water with unclean hands or hands that have germs in it, yeah. And it can easily get contaminated that way. You can fetch your water, you drink the water. It says government should not only be involved in setting up policies, but also in implementing them. Beyond policies, which I know in Nigeria we have good policies, uh, I, I think one of the key areas... ...that the rehabilitation and surveillance the contract. The group was reacting to allegations yes, that contracts for the rehabilitation of pipelines nationwide were awarded to a northern you know, oil cabal. Addressing a press briefing in Abuja... Stay here. ...we have access to better water, but when you go to the rural areas, you know, or people who don't have access to information, you know, it's quite a bit of a challenge. So beyond the government, you know, trying to assist and making policies, I think that uh, we need to do more, you know, in terms of educating, in terms of sensitizing people, go to schools, teach children how to wash their hands, teach children about germs. You know, there should be a section that talks about preventive diseases, you know, preventive germs that, you know, we can prevent just by washing our hands. Some participants speak about the involvement. Mostly people take hand washing for granted, but the recent COVID-19 pandemic supposed to be an high hope now for everybody that we don't joke with the usual of health, the usual of cleanliness. Uh, there is a common saying that cleanliness is next to godliness. And until we're all conscious of this, honestly, history may be repeating itself one million times. But of course, if we are all conscious that we have to keep our environment safe, then we can conquer a lot of challenges. We know germs, they don't have legs, they don't have hands. It is human beings that actually transport them from one place to another. So that is why washing of hands is important. We also said that your health is in your hands. If you don't wash your hands properly, it means wherever you have gone today, wherever a microorganism that are going to prioritize the welfare of the students, there, National President of the Union's Court of Injury made the call for an abortion in Port Hackett. He urged the companies to be better public health. It also promotes the adoption of the simple yet impactful habit of washing with soap for everyone, everywhere. Emmanuel Ulubobukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.